Hi, I'm here with William Pinkney Baird and Hannah Weird from Durham University Students Against Austerity. How did the group get together? Um, I think there was a distinct lack of um, any sort of left left wing thinking at Durham University, and a few individuals who were, we kept appearing at the same kind of talks, the same lectures, and, and we realised that there was a lack of um, any sort of coherent group that was working towards getting rid of the austerity motion in Durham. Um, so we set we went for a drink and started talking, set up a Facebook group and now slowly we're kind of building, building up to things. We've had a couple of days of action um, and we're still organising as a group but doing really well. Um, the Facebook group is Durham University Students Against Austerity, if anyone's interested in having a look. It's, it's been very much based on, on the sort of, um, we, we've been very much based on sort of actions that have been nationwide. So we sort of got started in order to work something out for the um, day of action against the privatisation of the student loan back in, the, um, oh, in no, November, wasn't it? So, um, yeah, um, we sort of bring together students to oppose that, which was quite successful. We got got over um, 300 people um, signing a petition which would be then brought to the local MP, Roberta Black in the Woods. Um, we've also been involved in, in getting getting student, um, a student presence at the staff strike um, on at the end of November. Um, we had had about a dozen students at the picket lines. We had printed over five. We, we printed five thousand leaflets to distribute to students. Um, just designed and printed the, these um, leaflets. Just trying to raise awareness, trying to get university students to think for themselves. Finally, I think especially in Durham, um, there's just a lack of people even being aware of the fact that our vice chancellor is on two hundred thirty-two thousand pounds a year, whereas the rest of the university staff are experiencing something like an eleven percent decrease in pay. I think people just don't know those things, and that's what we're trying to do. Make yeah, yeah, yeah. Know that. Have, have about five five hundred people, I think, um, over five hundred people um, who are paid less than living wage, which is is completely unacceptable. Okay, good. You've been following the student protests over the last couple of weeks, I imagine, and what do you think about the university's reaction to some of those protests, especially what happened in the University of Sussex where students were suspended? Well, I, I think it's quite quite worrying um, that you have that have this level of opposition that just basically, um, I mean, the universities, the police are just trying to basically get rid of any sort of opposition um, and any sort of crush um, crush the, the student movement before it's able to, to bloom, as it were. Especially um, on the back of Cameron trying to say something about how he wants to de-radicalise students, which is just absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I, I think this, the student movement is, is growing, and, and I'm, I'm quite hopeful um, for, for the future. In terms of anti-austerity measures, then the uh, Durham University students themselves, do you have anything planned in the future? Yeah, yeah. we have, have a week of action against the privatisation of student loans. We have that at the beginning of, of, of February, and we're, we're currently in, um, in the midst of, of planning what we'll have going on, on then, so that we'd like to have have some pretty big events. But also mainly I think um, just trying to promote Durham University students against austerity and um, promote awareness of it through the Facebook page, through what we're doing. Um, we're trying to post a lot of videos and articles on that page so even if people might not really know what the austerity measures are now, they can go on the page and have a look. So I think that's that's kind of the main one of the main underlying messages as well, is to kind of log on and have a look. Excellent. Thanks very much for your time. Thank you.